Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. And I have another thread up jewelry box to open. These little guys had fallen out because it's split right here. So, um, hi, how's it going? It's Friday. How's everyone's day going? It's the weekend, I left work early. So I figured I would do a video for you guys. Part-time reseller. <clears throat> All my links are in the description box. Check out my Patreon. I post videos and tips and tricks for reselling there that I don't post here. And um, if anyone's interested in anything, please email me, anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, because I'm very slow with listing, I got a comment on a previous video, one of my hauls, and they're like, I don't see this stuff on your eBay. I'm sorry, I am really behind. Um, since I started YouTube, I do a lot, you know, my focus is on that a lot, so um, my listing suffers. So, but that's what the weekends are for. Okay, because I work all day during the week. So these are new, however, they only retail for $288. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about these. I might have, I might just give them to my sister, um, cause I don't think reselling them is really gonna be worth it. This is just a little bangle that'll probably go into craft. So I make craft lots for sale and um, mystery jewelry lots for sale. Uh, those are available on my eBay as well. I do have some available. This looks like little footballs, um, plastic beads. We'll just go into craft. This, this doesn't look so bad. This is like a faux tortoise type thing and it does have a maker. It says Chaps. All right, so I think that's a Ralph Lauren brand. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this because it's really wearing the silver tone away and there's some green going on. So I'm not even gonna put that in crafting. That's going right in the garbage. Okay, I'm trying to get this out of here, but. All right, there we go. So this actually is, is pretty, but let me kind of bring you guys out a little bit. Um, I mean, that is one monster lobster clasp, huh? It seems like it's really tiny. Like, I feel like it's missing the extender. Because that, this will not even fit around my neck. So, I'm probably just going to put this into crafting. Okay, so uh, this is a glass pendant. Um, actually, the mystery lot of jewelry I have up in my eBay store now has a lot of these glass art glass pendants. There's probably like four or five of them in there. Um, so I will just add this one to it. So that'll go in there. And this is stuck to it. I'll just put that in there as well. <laughs> Craft. Let's see what else this looks kind of cool it's like these little spheres but they're open um, I don't really know I mean it's kind of bent up yeah I didn't yeah I didn't think it would be sterling but you never know so that'll probably just go in craft as well Oops, box almost fell over. This looks cute. Does this have a maker? No. Right? No, it's just... Nope, that's kind of cool, though. So that I might just put into a mystery lot. Because that's 
in excellent shape. It's just not something I would sell. Invisible, I don't know what that is. Maybe a hairband, but that's gonna go into craft. Oh, this looks neat. So this is a very long gold tone chain link necklace. Silver tone hammered, gold tone hammered discs with a little tassel. I don't know what that is. So this is cool. Um, it's got a little bit of wear. Oh yeah, yeah. It's kind of scratch. It's kind of scratched off right there, the silver, and all along here. So I'm not gonna be able to sell that. So that'll just go into crafting. Maybe somebody can put some stones on there. This is another. I I got a charming Charlie thing just like this in the lot before that I did yesterday. And it was brand new as well. And this is another choker set. Um, it's brand new, so I can probably still sell it. That's fine. Pro well, let me see. It says 13 on the back, so probably like 10. So that was one of the single earrings that fell out. And it was in the box. And it's really cute, so I hope that there's the mate. There's this. Is really neat looking. Um... I think that's just enamel. I mean, it's really beat up. Look at the back. Why is it like that? Um, let me see if there's any type of markings. I don't see any. It's not magnetic. So we could test it, but I don't think it's a precious metal because I think that's oh no that's just dirt okay never mind so all right we'll test that later and see what we find out all right oh this looks pretty let's look at this first This looks very Chico's-esque, but it is not. It is Premier Design with some doo-doo in there, but that's really cool. Um, I really like the um, oversized toggle clasp, and the colors on here are perfect for this time of year. Nice bright summer colors, green, orange, and blue, and it's got like a... Um, like almost like a splatter paint type look to it. So that's neat. I will definitely sell that. Um, I don't know, probably 15. And I think this weekend I'm going to do another $5 sale video. Um, if I have time, I will do that probably. I mean, I'm not going to say what day because I don't want to say it. And then if I can't do it, you know, I don't want anyone getting upset. So um, I'm going to try to do one this weekend. I have some inventory um, that I would like to sell um, so I don't have to list it <laughs> um, and give you guys a good deal um, if you want to resell it or keep it for yourself. So make sure you subscribe and press that bell notification. Shameless plug. Okay, so this is really cute. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. It's not enamel. I think it's just, you know, a fashion piece, but it is super cute and it's in good shape, except someone had a sticker there, maybe a price tag, but um, it's got a little bit of wear on the body of the butterfly, but honestly, I'm not sure that's going to matter. There may have been something there, but I'll see, even if I put it up for 10 bucks. So, okay, let's get that hair out of there. And this is a ring, so let's get that ring off of here for now. So this is super pretty. This is art glass beads. Very pretty. Um, usually stuff like this I'll just put into a craft lot for somebody. Um, my craft lots are really good. <laughs> so that'll go there. And this, I like the actual ring, but I I don't really like this flower. Maybe if it was a different color. But, um, so that'll just go into craft. 
Here's just a little bangle that will go into craft. Oh look, here's another one of those earrings, but it's in orange. So we'll put that to the side. It's almost, it's very like J. Crew looking. All right, this is really pretty. Um, this is also art glass beads. Um, let me get that hair out of here. I love these stones. Like, look at that one. That is so cool. So this might be bone right there. And maybe some pearl. Yeah, I think they're all glass. That one's got a little chip on it, but I don't think that is gonna matter. I like that, that is really cool. Um, so if anybody has any information on what, cause it, these might be, some of these might be stones. No, maybe not. Yeah, maybe, like quartz or something. I don't know. So if you guys know, let me know. Very pretty though. So I'll definitely sell this maybe 20 or so, depending on what and if those are stones. I always get so thirsty when I'm doing a video. I don't know if you guys do too, or maybe just because my office is always so hot. But yeah. So this is, it's not broken, it's just separated from the jump ring. However, it's super lightweight. Yeah, um, that's just gonna go into craft. These, oh, these look like coral earrings. Let's take that out. That's cool that they sent them in a bag, whether it was already like that or they did that. That was it's very cool. All right. Um, yeah, these are Koro and they are clip-ons. There's Koro. So those are really pretty. I will definitely sell those, probably 14. Here's another single earring we'll put to the side. The Purple Door. I've never heard of that, but they're brand new. Um, it looks like maybe some jasper or agate. These, these pieces, I'm not sure about the rest, but um, that's cool. I can sell that for maybe 14 or so. I'll have to check out Fire Mountain Gems website to maybe try to identify some of those stones. This, mm, I don't like it, so that's going into craft. Okay, let's look at Fashion Nova. So this looks like, let me try to, a very dainty necklace with these teeny tiny little stones hanging from it. The Alicia Gemstone Choker. All right, so I can definitely sell that. I might take it out of the plastic, but I'll leave it on the card. So depending on how much their jewelry goes for, it'll determine how much I sell it for, but probably around $12. It's funny that I see this because I had one just like this in another lot. I think it was a Goodwill blue box, um, but it was all kinds of messed up. It had green on it and like some of this was um, like sticking up and it was sharp. So I threw it out. But this, however, it looks in really good shape. So I'll probably sell this. It would go something, oops, something like that. Or probably the other way since it wants to fold that way, or who knows. But it'll sit right at the base of the neck like a collar necklace, really cool. So probably 14 on that. Speak out against domestic violence. Okay, so um, I'll put that into craft. 
I think this, I think they might have put it on backwards, but that's okay. Um, this is a very chunky silver tone, large oval chain link necklace. I like those keywords. <laughs> um, it's in good shape. It's very, um, like a retro. I, I don't really like it for myself to sell, so I'll probably just put this into a mystery lot. Another bangle, another bangle. To the craft. Oh, there's one up here. All right, we have this earring. This is a Monet. So that's cool. This is a screw back. Little teeny little hoop. So that's that's really good. It's in good shape. So we'll hope to get the meat. This is cool. Um, oh, there are some missing stones. So this is a stretchy. It's got good stretch. It's got like um, blush pearls with these little pokey rhinestones. <laughs> But, like, there's one there missing. Actually, if that's the only one, I could probably still try to sell it. Yeah, there may only be that one missing. So, um, I'll look it over again after the video, but I still might be able to sell that. So, probably only, like, 10 bucks though. This is cute, They're, it's like little baskets. I don't see a maker, but it's very cute. So I can definitely sell that. Um, it's a gold tone. I'm trying to think of other keywords, I really can't think of anything right now. But that's really cool. Probably 14 since it's pretty unique. 16 maybe even. This, um, yeah, I think it's just a vintage necklace. And you put the little doohickey things together. Um, I probably, I'll probably put that into a mystery lot. It's in good shape. This pretty little lady is, oh, I like the cut of these. They're like square rhinestones with a flat gold tone chain. No way. Ready? Christian Dior. Is that for real? All right, let me see. It's not magnetic. Um, and I know that is what the label looks like or at least one of them, um, but I don't know if this is a fake. There's something in there, so let me, where's my, where's my loop? And let me look in there. Okay, it does say something in, in the inside of the clasp. Let's see if I can read it. So it says Germany. Is that, is that what Christian Dior stuff says? Um, hmm, okay, well, we can definitely, I can definitely look into this. If anybody has any knowledge, if Christian Dior jewelry is made in Germany, then we might have a real bracelet here, and I'll fire up my gem tester so we can test the stones, but I don't necessarily think that they're going to be real diamonds because, you know, Givenchy and, um... Chanel and they don't they don't you know their stuff is gold tone and not real diamonds and stuff like that in their stuff so it could go either way so we'll put that to the side for now but that is really cool very good find I'm excited about that so these look like evil eyes and I'll just go into craft I see a lot of earrings down here
Okay, this one's pretty. I don't see a maker, but that's really cool. It's like the laurel. It has the stone here and all the little pearls. So that's neat. I hope the mate is there. Sorry, I had to check on something. Okay, so here's some of, some more of these really pretty earrings. Um, okay, so here's a match for these. Um, yeah, I mean, they're all right. So we'll put that to the side. Oh, well, there's, there's a little bit of wear on this. I'll have to see. Because those, the gold tone's kind of wearing off. These are pretty, but a lot of wear, and there's some scratches. So that might have to go into craft. Look at how cute these are. So these are clip-ons as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they're okay. The bow is a little dirty. I'm wondering if I, uh, I don't know if I can wash it, if that'll do anything, but I'll see. If I can clean them up a little bit, I'll sell them for like 16. And then I see the match for this right here. These are cool. So these would go on the ear actually like this. So that's pretty neat. That would like cover your, your ear hole, huh? Your ear canal. <laughs> no maker here either, but they're in good shape and all the stones are there. So I can definitely sell these as well. Oh, look, you can move it. So you can wear them, you know, at any angle. That's pretty cool, okay. So, I don't know, probably like 16 on these. Here's the other orange one that we had. Oh, that's the blue one. Here's the other orange one we had over here. These are in way better condition. Oops, this one's a little bit backwards. So these I can definitely sell. These are in really good condition. I can't believe they don't have a maker. But yeah, so these probably 14. These green ones, I think I'm just going to put into craft because the gold tone, if they're not, they're not in good shape. I don't feel comfortable selling that to somebody. Okay, this is craft also. Let me just look. Yeah. Here's a little stick pin with the pin sticking out. Really great. That might be a stone in there, like a jade or something. We can test that as well. Here's the blue. So let's look at these. These are in good condition too. So I think I might lot them together with the orange and maybe put 18 on it. Wow, look at that. That's cool. I think somebody made this one. So we'll put that to the side for the mate. This is an oop, this is another single. Put it on the side, side. This one, it does look like it's marked. I can't read that. Um LCI. Yeah, LCI. I don't know what that is but it looks in good condition. I'll have to look up what LCI is and go from there for pricing, but as of right now, probably like 14. Oh, here's two matches. So here's the Monet right here. So those will probably go for like 14. This match, this was really pretty. Let me try to get it. That's super pretty. So let's see if this has a maker. No. 
but I have the match, so we're definitely selling these. Maybe 14 on those as well. Here's a little ring. It looks like these two are probably supposed to be together because they have a chain. Um, it'll, it'll just go into craft. Halfway through the bag, guys. Here's a cute seed bead bracelet. Nothing wrong with it, just not really something I would sell. So, um, mystery lot. That's really pretty. I don't think these are real stones. They don't feel cold, but it, it is very pretty nonetheless. So we'll see if the mate is here. That's just a little bracelet. I think they sell these on Wish. So I will just put that into mystery as well. What is all this? This looks like a bunch of different color, like enamel colored earrings. Oh geez. All right, there we go. So, um, mm, I might just put these into crafts because they're kind of cheap and mm, yeah, I'm sure someone can even make a necklace out of that. Here's another one. This gold necklace looks cool if I can get it undone, untangled. There's a little, I don't know what that is, toe ring, I guess. That I think is broken, but we'll get to that in a second. What is this? Hmm, get off of my necklace. Okay, so let's try to, all right, this, this has got to move over. <laughs> so this looks really cool. Let me see if I can get this straight here. This is neat. Okay, so this is like the Chico's one I had in my last video, except this is gold tone. So it's got a ton of gold tone chain links, big, little, medium, all kinds. It's got these really cool, almost like upside down tulips, and then a bigger chain that comes into a hook clasp with no maker, but it is an adjustable length. So that's really pretty. Um, I might, if I, hmm, I could either put this in my mystery lot or do it, do the $5 sale, put this in the $5 sale. So um, I'll think about that. All right, let's look at this broken necklace. Oh man, and it's gotta be sterling, doesn't it? So usually if you see a necklace that looks like this with this little link here, the link usually says the, the um, purity of the metal. I can't see that. Hold on. So it says, yeah, it says 925 Italy AGI. So since it's broken, I'm just going to put it into my scrap 925 um, little thing. So when I take it to the jeweler, They'll give me money. they'll give me cash for it. All right, let's see what all the all this memory wire illusion stuff is because it's driving me up at the wall. It's got these little like hangies that everything is getting stuck to it. 
Oh, there we go. All right. So this is kind of cool. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put it into mystery. This, if I can get it untangled, not really a fan. Oh, I see another 925 necklace. All right. Let me see if I can get this untangled. I'll be okay. right back. I'm back. So let's go through stuff that I'm going to be putting into craft, which is this. Um, and this. And maybe this. Let's look at it. Oh, these two little things. Yuck. The illusion necklace went into craft. This, I believe, is like super mega long. So let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, let me just... All right. I mean, this is like almost as tall as me. I mean, not really, but you know, here. Oh, it keeps going. 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 <laughs> um, it's in okay shape, but uh, I'm just going to put it into a craft because somebody can use all that chain for some cool things. So this I thought was very pretty. It's like a little um, cat eye, I guess. Stones. It's just a fashion piece. I think I'll just put that into mystery. This looks like it might be an anklet. It's kind of weird, actually. It might also be sterling. Um, it's like this. Look at the little circles. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so we'll test that too. This ring is very pretty. Um, I don't think it's worn. I think it's just dirty. There are no markings. Oh, it's magnetic. But we can still test the stones for fun. This is like the other little cat eye necklace. So we'll put that one in there too. Mystery lot. This is actually pretty. I like this. I like the antiqued gold tone with like the peach color. And I like, here, let me, let me bring you guys in. So I like that. That's really cool. That like emerald cut, I think that's called, but whatever. It's it's rectangular. It's very like Victorian, giving me Victorian vibes. I I mean, I think all the stones are there. So that's really 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 pretty. I think I might sell this and for maybe $16. This is another 925 necklace. Let me just, because it's like all kinds of different colors, so hang on. Yeah, it says 925 Italy. But there's a different maker stamp on the bottom. I can't tell what it is. Yeah, and then it says 925 there as well. So, um, I mean, it's like really all different colors. So I'll just put that probably for my scrap unless somebody wants it. This is cute. It's a purple flower with a little dangly flower. Oh, 
That'll just go into mystery. Mystery. Da, 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 da. This is a nice chain. Very dainty. But I mean, I can't even grab it. Um, I don't see a maker, but... I mean, uh, you know, purity, but um, I like it, so I will keep it for pendants that I don't have chains for. I have a little bag for that. And then this ring, it's got all these little, like, cluster of stones on it. Ooh, and there, there are marks inside. Ooh, let's see. So... One of the marks is just a D. I mean, it might say something else. I don't know. It's really dirty in the inside. Oops, as I just drop it. Um, and then the other side says... Come on, loop. 925. So this is probably a vermeil, which is like a gold over silver. Oh, wow. It like fits perfectly. Look at that. That's really pretty. So... There is a chance that it might be real diamonds, but they're so incredibly small that I'm, I highly doubt my gem tester will pick it up, but I will try. All right, so here's the other one of this. So I will put those into the mystery because those were matchy matchy. think this would be easy to just get off. Look, like how does that happen? How the hell? There we go. Okay. So these are glass beads with maybe like a piece of abalone. That's really pretty. Um, usually clasps like that are, like this are 925. So, let me see. Yeah, it might be. So I'll test that as well, cause this is really pretty. This looks like a crack, but it's not. It's completely smooth, so it's just something on the inside. But that's cool, so we'll put that to the side. Oh, let's look at this first. This, on the other hand, is plastic beads. And it's very knotted. We got a lot of danglies. Oh gosh. <laughs> There's a lot going on with this necklace and it now it's stuck around my finger. So it's a little bit tangled still right here, but you get the gist. That's actually kind of cool even though it is plastic. Try to get the rest of this undone. Okay. Yay. Of course, now this side gets tangled. All right, whatever, you get it. So this is cute. I might even put this on, in the $5 sale. That's really cool. This, let's see. I think somebody made it. 
which there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's broken. The toggle is broken in half, so we'll put that into craft. This looks like like a worry bead necklace. Um, wood wood beads. We'll put it in the craft. All right, come on. So that's a little barrette. That's cute. Oh wait, I see another one. So, I mean, I'm not really a fan. They're kind of cheap. But I'll put that into mystery. This, I can already see that it is very worn. The scratches, um, I'm going to put that into craft. That's cool, but it's just plastic. It's not cold. Um, the gold, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. It's like gold and black. I guess maybe it's supposed to be like that. I think I'll put this into mystery as well. I see a watch. Let's look at this. Oh, this is Guess. Nice. It looks like it's in really good shape. It's waterproof. Wow. I used to be obsessed with the brand Guess. It's like designer, but kind of affordable, kind of affordable, but got like the young vibe still. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really cool. I can definitely sell this. It's pretty, it's like an excellent, excellent condition. I don't have to, I don't know how to do this. It's not, oh, it is winding. Okay, so that's fine. I'll probably, I could probably sell this for like 25 bucks, 20, 25. This is pretty. Oh, this is a pendant. I like this. It's like a conch shell. Look at how cute. There's the little loop for the um, chain. I love this. So that'll definitely get a chain and probably like 20 bucks on that. I'll put that to the side. Okay, what is this big thing? All right, this is a dog tag, but with a flag on it with some rhinestones. Um, I might just put that into crafting. Craft. Uh, we'll, put, we'll hang on to that for a second. Mm, craft. I don't know if that would be sterling. We can try another little doodad. So let's get rid of that stuff. Oh, so the stretch does not look good on here. I might just put that in craft. It's pretty. So this is going to be craft, here's an earring, another earring, but we're going to, what's this say, Hong Kong, we're going to just toss that because it's, it's green, it's falling apart right here, yeah, that's going to go. All right, so now this earring is very cute, let me get this little, it's, oh, it's really worn, actually it's not that bad. But very like um, Bali, Tahiti, Thai, whatever looking. The elephant, good luck with the 
um, trunk up is good luck. Cute little bead. We'll see if we have the mate. This is a is a brooch. Mm, I don't see a maker, and I don't know why that one is silver and the rest aren't. I think this enamel, yeah, it chipped off. So we're going to put that into craft. Let's get rid of this stuff. All right, so I'm going to dump the rest out because we are down to the bottom. And then we'll do some testing. So I realized... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's look at this first. This is more body jewelry. So that I'll just put in um, mystery. $2 a pair for these. What are they? They're just some homemade clip-ons. Mm, I don't know. I'll think about these. If I, oh, I mean, they're cute. If I sell them, maybe like 10. Otherwise, I'll put them in the mystery. All right, this, oh, look, it's Jake. I can tell by the ginormous thing, even though the J. Crew thing isn't there. Um, but it's it's worn to bits. I mean, it's discolored. The gold tone is falling off. It's got doo-doo in there. So we're just going to put that in craft. All right, let's look at these. These look cool. Oh, cool. They are cool. Huh? So these are red earrings vintage probably with the anchor on them i actually have a pair of blue ones exactly like this um top part but then my blue ones have another round dangly underneath it with like the same thing so that's really neat um they're in good shape i have those on my in my ebay store now so i'll just find backs to those and sell those too for probably 14 these are super cool. It's just plastic and very crappy made metal. But, I mean, that might give you, that might give you an ear infection. <laughs> but I like them. Why is it everything I like it never never works out in these things? Maybe I can try to wash them and they'll come out nice. It looks like somebody made them, honestly, because they're not, like, uniform in shape. Uh, I really like them. So, I don't know. I'll have to see if I can clean them up. So, that's a really cool earring and it goes with this one, but there's little... Rhinestone's missing, so that'll go into craft. That ring is weird. Um, it's just a fashion adjustable. I'll go in craft. Craft. That has a chip on it, out of it, whatever. So those will go into craft. Damn, I don't see the elephant match. See what I mean? Everything I like. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is this? Because this looks cool. Of course, there's no match to it. It's like a um, fork or spoon, whatever. That's pretty neat. We can test that for silver. Yeah. This is pretty, but it's just a little... Probably toe ring. These are cute. But the gold tone is like worn off right there. So those are going to craft. Look at these big honkers. <laughs> so these are also clip-ons. These are cool. They go like this. Oh, wait, is it missing something? No, it's either missing something or they're supposed to be like that. I think they're supposed to be like that, where the black is only on one side. 
I like these, so I'll clean them up and sell them for like 14. There's no mate to this, plus it's missing a stone, so that'll go into craft. This is a little stud. Hey there, stud. I don't see any markings. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll just go, I'll keep the back of that and toss the other part. Okay, so remember I said I thought this was sterling? Well, I think they are because they're part of an earring. And the back of this one says, Mm, Thailand 925. Yeah, right there. Does that one say the same thing? It doesn't look like it. I don't know. Whatever. Um, it's missing the ring. Hmm, I, mean, I think they're kind of cool. Oops, I'll have to see if I can find a jump ring laying around somewhere. Oh no, they don't. It doesn't need one. Hold on, hold the phone. I think I could fix this right now. Ha, look at me fixing things. <laughs> Yay! All right, so these are really cool. These are definitely going to get sold. Um, probably like 25 bucks, maybe even more. I'll have to look it up. And yeah. Oh, we do have the mate to this one. Woohoo! Yep, and this one is stamped 925 right here. So these are definitely neat. It's a little bent, but I can whoop, bend it right back and we're good to go. So those will get sold too, probably like 25 or 30. So that makes up for the elephant not being, not having a match. And then we got this pretty thing, but it's got a pretty hefty bend in it. And I don't think it's anything. Oh wait, there is a mark in there. What does that say? Oh, it's Premier Design. Okay. I don't know about that bend though. I'll have to see. Wow, this is... How did that even happen? I can't even bend it back. Wow, that's heavy duty. I'll have to see about that. All right, now let's do some silver testing with my grody fingernails. I mean, finger tips. So let's do this first. Okay, and then we'll do, uh, I mean, this might not be sterling. This might actually be gold, but we can just see. Come on, I can't even get it. Come on. I can't really get it. There we go. Um, then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. Um, okay, let's just start with that for now. So I use 18 karat to show, and it will be, it will show up in blue if it is sterling. So yes, this one's sterling. The rest are not. So, see that first one? Oop, sorry. So that's this one. All this is not, so this, can just go into crap, I mean, mystery, this. Maybe I'll put this in my $5 sale glass. I don't know, we'll see. 
Christian Dior is not sterling, so it could be gold. Um, the Oh, yeah, these were supposed to be sterling. Let's try that. Yeah, so that's coming up sterling as well. This didn't have a mark, so let's um, try that one. Mm, no. Okay, let me clean all this. And try not to touch it. All right, next, we're gonna try the gem tester. Ba, ba, ba. Now, let's angle you guys a little bit. And let's see if I can get onto this guy. Um, hopefully I can. If you hear a beep, it just means I hit the metal. And if it's a diamond, this needle should go all the way up to diamond. So let's see. How am I going to do this? <laughs> nope. Fuck. I mean, crap. <laughs> I really only see one diamond, or if it is a diamond, it's right in the center. And the rest are just like little marcasites or something. Come on. Oh, but I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go to diamond. Come on, baby. Damn it. <laughs> I can't keep my hand steady enough to keep it on the stone. You guys are probably like, come on, Kristen. <laughs> Hurry up. I think that's a diamond, guys. I think I'm going to say that that is one single teeny, insy bitsy little diamond on there. Yep. Th there I go. Yes! <laughs> All right, but it's so itty bitty. I doubt it's even worth that much, but the ring itself is very, very beautiful. And it is probably, if it says 925 in there, it's probably Vermeil, so it's probably like a 14 carat or something over the top. So that is awesome. More diamonds. And I'll sell this one. Um, I don't really wear too much gold. So, um, you know, if anyone's interested, hit a girl up. All right, so then there was these, which I don't think are real, because that would, I mean, I would quit my job if those are real. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Uh, maybe I would. Okay, so let's check. Nope. So those are probably just glass, since it moves the glass line. If it didn't move at all, it would be just like a plastic or something. So that, I'll see if I can clean it up. If not, it'll just go into mystery. Now, I don't think these are stone. I think it's, I think they're just enamel. But let's see. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't look like a stone to me. See, they're like, it's so smooth. Like, I don't feel any separation, like, from the stone to the piece, like, that it's inlaid in. And that's just doo-doo. I, I was able to scratch that off on the other one. So, I don't know. I mean, it is moving. So, maybe it is a stone. I mean, they did a really good job putting it in there. Wow, I mean, that one's going really far. So what do you guys think it is? I've never seen, like, an actual real gemstone so dark. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, because this has got me stumped. Hmm. 
Mm, it's definitely not garnet, emerald, amethyst, none of those. It's not going to be citrine. Uh, it might be tanzanite or aqua. Because I know those are blue, but... I don't know, I'm just not convinced. Like, that looks like it's painted. I need some help. Look at how dirty my fingers are from this lot. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think, because I could really use your help on this. Oh, and um, there was one more. There was this little lady in here. So let's see what she does. If I can reach her in the cage. Mm. I don't think I could reach it far enough to press the... Here, wait, I think I got it. Mm. I don't know. See, these things confuse me sometimes, the, the gem testers. Trying to push it because it doesn't reach. Yeah, I don't think, I don't really think this is anything. I mean, it might be an emerald or quartz. So I'll have to look that up. But I don't think the metal is anything. Let me see. Ooh, it might be. All right, let's back this up. <laughs> back it up. Back up. Let's see something here. It's definitely not marked. So let's try the 14 carat. No, it completely takes the stripe away. So it's, I don't think it's anything special. Oops, I got a phone call. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to say this probably isn't anything. Um, blah. Oh, let's just for fun. Let's do these. I just like seeing the blue, the blue stripe. <laughs> I know I'm like a little kid sometimes. So cool. So those are definitely sterling silver. All right, enough playing. Um, let me get going on this. And um, I'm going to work on a $5 sale for you guys. And I'm going to do some thrifting this weekend. So stay tuned for all those videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.